return home. Danger could be waiting for them, even if their home wasn't damaged. KPX 5's Jackie Ward joins us now live from Santa Rosa, where neighbors might not even realize the risk. Jackie, what's going on? Well, Veronica, this has got to be one of the most clear days we've seen in a long time here in Santa Rosa. But these fires have been burning all sorts of material, plastics, paints, the siding of homes. It smelled horrible at times up here. And the Sonoma County Department of Health knows that people want to get back to normal, want to clean up their homes. But they're telling people to wait for now for their health's sake. On what's been one of the clearest days in Santa Rosa since the start of these fires, people here are still wearing face masks. Volunteers with the American Red Cross say they've been handing out hundreds of masks every day. Most clients are saying, why do I feel the, th the throat? And we're telling them, well, it's obviously the air, it's the smoke, it's, you know, there's a lot of bacteria now forming. For people like Cheryl Lane, who already have respiratory problems, she says the potentially toxic material and charred remains floating through the air make her nervous. My lungs are kind of sensitive to the smoke in the air, and I've already required a respiratory treatment, and they sent me off with an inhaler, and so that's why I have to wear this mask. That's why Scott Alonso with the Sonoma County Department of Public Health is urging people to stay inside, especially children and those with lung problems. And also, when you're driving, make sure your AC is on recirculate protecting yourself from that so your air filters are doing all the work for you and they're not bringing in that outside air. Scott says long-term effects of breathing in this air are still unknown, but in order to lessen your chances of developing a serious illness, he's encouraging people to remain patient and not clean up their homes. Instead, he's urging people to make an appointment with the public health department and allow the professionals to remove the hazardous waste. Don't clean up right now. It's not safe. The toxic ash and the debris is harmful. We don't want you sifting through it. We don't want children in it. Do not touch it. Just keep a track of what's there, and then we can get involved working with you to clear it out. So to start that process, the Department of Public Health wants you to sign a right of entry form within the next couple of weeks. Then they'll come into your home, and they'll clean all of that mess up for free. In Santa Rosa, Jackie Ward, KPIX 5.